Using GetX, you can add translations as well. Let's see how. Create a class App Translations. Extend it with translations. Define or rather say override keys for each locale. Keys is a map where the key is the language code and country code from the locale. The value of each locale is again a map. This map is the translations map where key is the name of your text and value is the actual text that you will show in the app. In the parent map, say en underscore us, you define all the strings that the app uses and if you want to translate in other language based on device locale or app locale, you could provide translations for the languages as well. Let's see how they are used in the app. In your main.dart, instead of material app, use get material app. Provide translations attribute to it with app translations instance. Give locale to get material app as well, which signifies that this locale is the default one. To make use of translations, you need to use tr method on the key like this. That's it. You can also use plurals. To do that, define another plural translations say collections with a different name. Now back to the UI. Use tr plural this time. In tr plural, the first argument is the plural text key which you defined and second argument is the number. If the number is 1, the plural key will not be used but the singular key will be used. Now you can think in a way that this number can be dynamic and based on this number, the text will be singular or plural. You need not write logic by yourself for this anymore. You can also provide parameters to the text like five collections for example. Your translation is at number collections. The variable starting with at the rate is the parameter and you must supply it with calling tr params. If you, are, if you have parameters in the translation, but you forgot to supply it while using it, then it would look weird with add number shown without being resolved. You might want to use plurals and params together as well, as in this case where 5 collection is not correct, it should be 5 collections. For that, you also need to add add number in plural key. Then use tr plural params and rest is pretty straightforward. Use the plural key count and parameters. As a result, now you have perfect use case and perfect solution without much fuss. Last thing to cover in translations by getx would be how do you change the locale at runtime for the app. That is very easy too. You don't need to manage state yourself for that. To show with example, at the start of the video itself, we added en underscore es translations also. We will now switch between two translations. Remember to keep same keys for both locales. Only values should change. Now from anywhere in the code, invoke get dot update locale with a Spanish locale and that's it. This call changes the locale and updates the text in the app. Isn't it awesome? I liked it when I saw it first time. And with this, the video has come to an end. Leave your feedback in the comments and show some love by hitting the like button and sharing this video in various Flutter forums. And if you are new to this channel, support me and the channel by subscribing this channel. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.